Hey everybody, unfortunately I'm the bringer of bad news. We have ourselves a little situation here. We're going to see how this goes. But they have had a large earthquake. Uh, I believe it's off the coast of uh, Canada. And it is a biggie. It is a 7.7. .7. And they have issued a tsunami warning for Hawaii and maybe parts of the east or the west coast, excuse me, the west coast, mainly Hawaii from what I understand. It is being shown on the telly right now. They have not been in this situation like this before with uh, something like this and the models that they're using from what they describe are rather crude so they seem to have advised people to go to high ground I believe they were talking like the third floor of buildings and hotels and whatnot uh, the wave estimation uh, kind of on the crude models that they're using to guesstimate should be between three and uh, six feet if this timing is right, um, it should be hitting any time. The waves. So we need to keep our fingers crossed and say some prayers that this doesn't develop into uh, something really, really bad for Hawaii. If they do get tsunami waves three to six feet, that's going to be bad enough. Um, as you can see, right down here in Oklahoma where I'm at we've, we've had one, a 3-1 and you got your 3-9 that's within the last 24 hours here and there's your 7-7 seven, seven. you can see this string of stuff they had uh, I don't see it here but I believe they were talking like they had a uh, uh, aftershock like 5.7 so we'll look around on the world globe here see our lines of activity all along the faults and it looks like over in the Indonesian way uh, there are much less magnitudes at the moment which 5.3 in this area at this time seems to be the, the largest one we'll let it roll around I hope everyone's been doing all right I have been really getting into this election for Obama and Romney. I don't believe it's going to get any better no matter who we switch out to. Political parties are both owned by the same entities. Yes, it looks like currently right now this will be the biggest at this time we'll look at our charts and you can see Queen Charlotte Island region fives and fours and seven seven there's your five three in the Philippines everything wasn't too god awful big recently can drop back to the 26th you see a lot of lower or higher twos you have to go back a few days before you see the sixes which we did have a six and a half in Costa Rica remember we had the video that I made a while back about the Costa Rican earthquake Then you had your southeast of the Loyalty Islands, the six. So, other than those, we had been clipping right along with things that wasn't really knocking our socks off.
the depth appears to be about 17 and a half as I was saying I have been following these uh, debates and whatnot as well as the ambassador being killed in uh, Benghazi and trying to find out as much information as I can what what I can say is that we've all been hosed and lied to but that's usual for the Obama administration we've got nothing for four years but misleading and lies and obviously everyone should know by now if you do not know they knew instantaneously live and in color as they watched exactly what was going on they put it out about that video just like I said that was a lie that was not caused because of the video it was definitely another reasoned and I believe that the Obama administration is filthy dirty and they were involved in it to make it happen and allow it to happen but when we vote if voting still counts and it is not manipulated which I believe it is it's not I mean I'd love to see this man out of office and I'd love to see Romney get in office and take over and, and things get better to the degree that I believe is that you, you've got infighting in the uh, system of who drives the politics you've got certain ones that want to take us to the same ending but in a different route do you understand what I'm saying? They both want to get to the same end point that leads us to, but they have different plans on how to take us to the end point. So, in all actuality, I do believe that it will not matter in finality who is the leader. We'll we'll get that, you know. Whoever's the Obama fans will get the good cheesy feeling that their guy got back in. Whoever's the Romney fan will get that patriotic cheesy feeling that things are going to get better. And they may, you know, seemingly begin to. But uh, if you think about things in reality, do you honestly believe that we can ever pay off? 16 trillion dollars of debt if you think about how many people actually pay taxes let's say 50 percent of 300 million if that could be accurate and divide that into 16 trillion you're going to come up with a whopping amount for for each taxpayer to be in the hole for and due to pay so I do not believe that that debt will ever be paid off and if that debt is never paid off we're going to suffer big time no matter what and we've got so much more everything going on you have the situation in the Middle East which still is churning and burning Israel is is gonna have to do something I still hold that they are waiting until after the election before they act Assad is still there just like I said he will not go it is going to take some other type of an action other than sanctions and pleading and begging and whatnot and you know what I've said before it's not putting anybody any better in it's putting yes men in 
Remember the Bible said there'd be kings that would be given power for a short time? Well, what do you think is going on? You've had replacement of what was there with new guys, and those new guys are in power. So you're seeing it unfold before your very eyes. You're seeing guys that didn't have power placed in power with so-called uh, democratic election, but they have power. And it's going to be for a short time until the bottom falls out that they'll have their power. Assad is just another one that they want to remove and place a new scumbag, even worse than him, in power. Okay? So back to the tsunami. It is a serious deal. Uh, it is still on television as I speak. I do see some waves washing up. It does not appear to be uh, big ones at the moment, uh, the size of uh, Japan. You know, we have to realize that uh, it's quite a jump from a 7.7 .7 earthquake to a, a 9.0 earthquake, as happened to Japan on 3.11.11. But yet, uh, like I say, you know, they are correct. We haven't had. Uh, something for Hawaii uh, uh, like this, so they probably are going to get some water that they didn't want. We also have to realize if you didn't have been up to speed on everything, this potential uh, hurricane here I do believe is going to cause some damage. Um, my brother lives, my other brother, my middle brother lives in South Carolina. Uh, they have sent a whole bunch of power crews to get ready for it and I, th I think it probably can really do some damage so it's gonna you know you can read your articles and keep up with it they've had it on for a few days and I'm sure that you had to have heard about it churning and getting ready to go do its damage I believe it was supposed to start sometime tomorrow probably and then they forecast it to run through uh, Halloween and they are declaring states of emergencies uh, to governors uh, Christy here of New Jersey governor of North Carolina uh, this could potentially impact the election coincidentally and you never know I you know, we talk about a lot of things, and we know that Harp can manufacture things. So to me, it is, uh, wow. Uh, to me, it's something to think about how the timing of this is uh, going to cause this damage shortly, you know, a week before the election. And, you know, when your house is messed up, or other things, maybe somebody in your family has been hurt, your mind is not on going to the ballot box. So let's hope that they did not stoop low enough to use the harp to cause this to affect the outcome if that could be affected. I still say they could hack into the voting machines and change anything they want. So be aware if you live along there. You know, my brother, he did get the plywood and, and he's uh, securing his windows and trying to batten down the hatches on his own just in case because he does live uh, fairly close to the coastline of South Carolina. So everybody, be aware there's a big 7.7 .7 earthquake that has occurred and, and Hawaii is in jeopardy and they, they are going to get some water and there is a tsunami we'll see what happens on the west coast if anything like that washes ashore the there and gets anybody wet along there and uh, 
frankly, back to the politics, I thought it was a joke. I thought all three debates plus the vice presidential debate was a, a joke. Uh, I'm not bragging on myself, I'm just telling the truth and, and, and a lot of you would have been able to do the same thing. You stand me up there or sit me down on a desk next to uh, King Obama and I'll rip him to shreds in that debate. There was too much politeness going on. He didn't hammer him on all the lies and everything that he has told. Uh, so that tells you something right there. You know, he had a, he could have he could have tore him into a million pieces in front of everybody watching and listening. He could have destroyed him over and over and over and over again, and it didn't happen, did it? Uh -uh. And that has to tell you something. You got to realize what the truth is. But when you do go vote on voting day, uh, whoever your man is, I'm sorry, neither one of them is any good. They're both scumbags. And uh, America is in in very very big trouble, no matter who is elected. We get, you know what you get with Obama. You get another four years, you're going to get another seven trillion in debt. We're going to be 23 trillion in debt, and we're probably going to default. You get Romney in there, he's going to do whatever he's going to do, but you're not going to see the 16 trillion disappear. And you're not going to get 12 million jobs like he's promised. I, you can rest assured of that. It's just not the way it's supposed to pan out. We're going to be moving into November, heading towards December 21. And uh, as I've said before, the Maya calendar never said that was the end of the world. The world is not going to blow into a million pieces and disintegrate. It's going to keep going. It is a change. And you're seeing change if you open your eyes and watch and keep up on everything and don't let it disappear the next day or three days from then and it's gone and you don't remember it because it really is happening in front of us. And I pray for every one of you. I pray for the people in Hawaii right now because they're not going to know what to do. Well, let's hope they don't panic so much that mad rushes for safety end up hurting people. I'm going to keep watching this. If any other uh, stuff is updated, I will bring it. I pray for all of us, all of you viewers out there, listen to me and subscribe. You're all my friends. I love each and every one of you. God loves you. And He wants to know you if you don't know Him. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. He's knocking at the door. All you have to do is answer it and let Him in. What have you got to lose? You only got one thing to lose. Your soul. if you let him in, you gain so much that you never had before. So pray for all the world. Pray for the sick. Pray for the dying, the desolate, the hungry, the poor, the sick, the lonely. Pray for all those anywhere and everywhere. Pray for the people that don't know the Lord. There's so much help that all people in the entire world need. God bless you all. I'll talk to you again soon. And don't forget, don't give up on it. Keep looking up. 
it's going to come sooner or later. It's going to come in the clouds. Watch the sun. Watch the moon. Watch the stars. That's where you're going to get signs. You're not going to catch them if you don't keep them eyes open. Keep looking for it. Realize what you're seeing.